What's up friends? Welcome to the Friendly Food Forest channel. Today we're going to go over how we make our famous roast out of the Friendly Food Forest with just a little bit of help from Corporate America of course. And I also want to show you a quick look at what we got behind us with the billboard tarps. Haven't really killed off the weeds as much as we like. They definitely made a dent. So I'll take a little closer look at that and we can talk about it before we go in and make that delicious roast. So Jason and probably a few other people were wondering what it would look like under here. So the experiment was to see how much grass we could kill off. We were hoping to kill off all of it. And you can see under some of these spots that had the darker print on the billboard vinyl signs. We seem to do a pretty good job. This can grow under just about anything. So I had a feeling this would give us a hard time. But you can see where it's a little bit lighter. It really didn't do a good job of killing off that one in particular. Now this can run underground, under wood chips. It's a really wicked plant here. So, and you notice that's about all that's left. So it is a possibility that that's just one you're going to have to deal with by hand if you're using this method. But I would say maybe double them up and try to get the dark spots over the white spots if you are going to double them. So you got a nice dark cover. Didn't work the best, I would say. No experiment's a failed experiment because we definitely learned something. And we can definitely make this work with what we got. We're just probably going to have to double them up and really try to cover the white spots with the darker spots. But I wanted to show you a quick look at that because it can be a quick way to do a no-till garden with these tarps. But you might want to use this to black or double up the billboard vinyl. Trying to save a little money, but sometimes it doesn't always work. But definitely an easy experiment to do, and maybe we'll double them up. All right, let's get back to some delicious talk about our roast. So there's a shot for you of pulling up our carrots. We pretty much just took them from this very end. And right down that little row, about two, three feet of carrots there. Kind of small, but they are going to be delicious. We had them packed real tight, so I didn't expect to get big ones. So pretty happy with that. Pulled them out of our cold storage, and let's head inside, like I said. It's going to be simple and delicious. Got our potatoes from the Friendly Food Forest. Carrots, just pulled them out. Onions, last a real long time. Came from the Friendly Food Forest as well. A little secret, we put this Lipton recipe over the top. Can't testify to health value, but I can testify to taste. That is delicious. Chuck Roast, my favorite cut of meat. And put these together, do a little magic, and it's gonna be truly amazing. Either I'm getting super emotional about how amazing this roast is gonna be, or I've been chopping onions for like a half hour. Stick with me. You'll see it cooking in just a second. All right, got about two inches of water down in the bottom. Potatoes, carrots, onions, all from the Friendly Food Forest. Chuck roast. Got that Lipton's mushroom soup mix over the top. We let it cook an extra half hour. So that's why you see it tore apart just a little bit here. We're checking to see if it was done or not. So that's starting to come apart nice and easy with the forks like you want. And about five hours in, I came in and I pushed this down just into the water a little bit. Make sure it's staying nice and tender and getting cooked all the way through. So that's about what we're looking for there. And then also... I was reading a little bit about recipes, I haven't done it myself, but I'm going to try it right now. But you can take the broth, scrape some of that burnt stuff off the bottom if you got any, boil it down in a pan, and make some really nice gravy out of all these fixings and that extra water you got on the side there. So we're going to try that, but this is where we're out. So I hope you all are growing your own veggies and making a delicious pot roast at home yourself. See you on the next one. About 15 minutes later, got it boiled down looking something like gravy. We'll let that cool off a little bit. Been ladling over the roast, keep it moist. Now we're really ready to eat. Cheers. <laughs> 